I've got all the plumbing side finished now, oil system is finished. I've got a little bit to do on the gas system. I'm going to concentrate now on the electric system. Uh, we need a high tension spark to ignite the propane gas that it runs on. I'm going to show you how I, or at least what I use for a, a high tension spark. I've used these before and they're very, very effective. But you've got to be careful because you're talking about real, real high tension voltages. You don't want to uh, get a dig off it because it really hurts. This is what I use to generate a spark. It's a motorbike coil. And it's got a little switching unit. Parts are all available online. So you've just got a positive and negative. And you've got a live lead, the red one. And it got a ground. And it does produce a really high tension spark, as I'm going to find out. I'll get a couple of battery onto it, and we should get a constant nice blue spark. Like that. I'll put the light out so you can really get the full benefit. If you can actually smell it, it's like lightning, and that spark will jump two inches. It's a real high tension spark. So you've got to be careful, you don't want to get on the wrong side of it because it will hurt. Right, I'm sure you can see it's really, it's really angry. So it all fits quite nicely inside this little plastic box. And we're going to find somewhere to mount it on the chassis of the jet. It'll go in there quite nicely, it's away from heat. And all the wires are nice and close to the switches. And there's enough length on the plug lead go there so that's looking a decent place to put it right that's mounted there quite nicely out the way away from all the real heat the two circles are going to be protected by a relay um, which is governed by oil pressure if it's got no oil pressure as a solenoid valve closes off and you don't get any gas in which means you can't in theory blow the turbocharger up or seize the turbocharger up rather I'm going to mount the fuse board on a little fuse box behind there and it's out of the way so I'll mark it and drill it from this side just two little black cap head bolts and a little bit of wiring to do and it's getting very very near to starting this thing up very near indeed I've got it all tucked in there quite neatly so this is the power into it and the earth I'll have to put a clip or something on there I did manage to get a shock off the HC side of this and it's not funny I don't want it again it's a lot of voltage, it's worse than any spark plug shot. Oh, I know, I've had a few spark plug shots in my time. It took roughly half an hour for me arm to come back to moving again. I don't want it anymore. It was my fault, I never had a, a proper earth. Um, anyway, I don't want it anymore. I've got the, that's the HT lead there and I've got the ground for the coil right on the bottom of the combustor so it's a, a nice easy path. But the whole engine was live because the earth wasn't connected and it was earth to throw everything, including me. And I really didn't like it. I was going to grind that or file that flat, but I'm leaving it as cut because that's the way the plasma cuts. And if somebody asks us what sort of finish will the plasma give, that's the finish it gives. That's straight off the torch, no, no grinding or sanding. I've got to connect it with a little car battery. That's what oil pump, oil pressure, which I can adjust to whatever I want. And that's the spark. And now the frame is not live, and I can hear it sparking. I don't think here or not, but it certainly is sparking. I'll take the plug out and put it down here just to make sure. Take your chances here. See the spark instant. And the battery runs a pump and the spark. It'll not be run for great lengths of time. 